So now I'm thinking about doing three roosting poles, one at 10. I think that should keep them far enough away from here so if they're pooping, their poop can go down here. And off the bottom, I don't think they're gonna go, wanna go right on the ground. So I was kinda thinking if I went 10, 25, that'd give them 15 inches apart from each other. And then if I went 40 down here, that give them 15 inches from each roots from each other, and it would keep them 16 inches off the ground. I'm kind of curious what you think about that. That's where I'm gonna put the roost poles for now. I'd like to hear your suggestions in the comments below. I can always move the roost and poles around. So if you think that's a good number, let me know. If you don't, let me know why and what heights you would put it at. I know it's not the proper saw, but it's just a pole. Just a piece of wood for a pole. We got our three poles, just gotta go ahead and secure them to the roost. do the waterer setup. We're going to make an automatic waterer again. I have this bowl, automatic bowl waterer right here. It's from our old chicken coop. It's going to float. I'm going to be using a 55 gallon drum. I'll show you that in a second. We're just going to set this up. A little dirty. Clean it out, rinse it out. But I'm going to set this up and the girls will always have fresh water right in the bowl for them. I'm sure the ducks are going to love this. We just got this 55 gallon drum that we had set up for collecting rainwater that we're gonna use. We got two spigots, one up high and one down low. The one up high we use, so when this filled up, we hook up a hose and run it to another 55 gallon drum. We just had it continuously in line collecting rainwater. But for this purpose, we're gonna be using it for our automatic waterer. So the reason why I left the stakes high Garden hose can get slipped, slipped on, and we just clamp it in place. Now the 55 gallon drum's all filled up. I actually overfilled it. This is all filled up. You just gotta be a little patient and adjust your float. You don't want it to overflow. 
You might have to keep an eye on it, see if the chicken's messed with it, or see if it gets disturbed at all, and just keep an eye on that. And our old chicken coop, we had this set up with the 55 gallon drum set up with a rainwater catchment. So the chickens always in the summertime, spring, all the chickens always spring, summer, and fall had fresh water in that. We never had to fill it up with a hose. It was just, we had a metal roof over the chicken coop with a gutter set right into the 55 gallon drum. And they always had a constant supply of clean, fresh water. Now we're just about ready for the hens. Put some hay in there, we'll let them get it right. I'm just gonna leave this other bale in here for them. They can move it around and do whatever they wanna do. I'm not gonna go nuts, there's still a bunch of grass down. So they'll eat all the grass and everything, but... They'll have fun with all this hay. A few extra bales of hay. I'll just leave them in there in the coop with the chickens. Now comes the fun part. We have to go get the chickens and let them in here and see what they're gonna do. I'm pretty excited and interesting to see how the ducks are gonna react to the water bowl. I'm sure they're gonna love it. They're gonna make a mess. Be dirty water bowl after a few minutes, but they're gonna have a, they're gonna have a blast with it. Hopefully the chickens don't mind. So that'll be another video. We'll be getting the chicks in here and the ducks, and we'll see how that goes. Leave in the comments down below what you guys like to see for videos. Give me some ideas. What do you what do you want to see? I'm curious. Make these videos to help people grow, to show them what I'm doing, to give them ideas. Is there anything you'd like to see? Anything you're trying to figure out but you don't know how to do it? Leave them in the comments below. I'd love to see and maybe we can make some videos for you. So, we'll see you right back here next time at Lum the Acres. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Comments down below. We love reading the comments. We love interacting with you guys. It's, it's fun. Share the video. It really helps. And we'll see you right back here next time at Lum the Acres. If you guys want to see more of what's going on at Lumna Acres, I post a photo a day on Instagram. And once a week, we're doing videos on YouTube. Go over to Instagram, Lumna Acres, and follow us there. You can see all the fun photos we put up.